Okay, again, we are in another unusual location, just I need to do the before restoration video on this Sharp Twin Energy Vacuum. So, I picked this guy up at the local Community Aid for $24.99. Um, now, I did not get it for $24.99, I got it for like 13 bucks, which really of course encouraged me to buy it, it was on a half-off deal. I also got these nice accessories here. Now, I thought they were, they were taped to the thing like this when I found it, so I thought, oh, they're probably just in my bag. Um, are these new? Because I've never seen that store seal stuff. These are sealed and look new. So, please explain. So, I don't even know if these would have came with this machine. I don't know. Um, it does not come with the extension water. Ooh. Extension water, unfortunately. It doesn't come with the combo brush. Not combo. The poster brush, which is kind of gross, but whatever. This machine, it runs, but it does not. It is quite filthy. Um, another issue, handle lock is busted. So, I know everyone, every collector really needs this one energy. So, I had to pick one up. I've never tried one. They looked super cool, very 90s, very retro. Oh, man. So, I don't like this machine. I just, I really want to get that panel release back. Because if I can get that panel release back with the machine... After a restoration, this machine would be perfect um, after a cleanup. So this unfortunately makes it most likely. I probably cannot fix this, but honestly, the thing is, it does not lean back at all. It is really sturdy, even when the handle lock is busted. And it doesn't sit lop, so it does actually kind of sit. I, I have to look at the underside. The underside is really bad. Let me show you it. Oh. Let's see there, it's kind of crusted. I, I gotta, let me lay the machine down. This is the before restoration. Oh! On it, because I'm gonna combine them into one clip, and I'm gonna, at the end of this video, you will see this machine all up and running. This is a quick before segment. Oh, you can see this guy is crusty. I thought this was a metal brush roll, so I thought it was really bad, but it's, it's not as bad as I thought. I can clean this brush up. It does have a belt in it. Does this take car belts? Please let me know because I have a feeling that belt is gonna bust somehow. They also had a orange simplicity there for 15 bucks. No, I did not realize this was on a discount until I got to the register. So I kind of regret not picking up the simplicity, but I didn't feel like it. So yeah, that's the before segment. What is going on with that foot pedal? I actually need to figure that out. So, Sharp Twin Energy. I know this is a pretty common version of the Twin Energy. There's a lot rarer versions of it. Because mine does not have the speed control at all. Is this residue from a sticker? I think it is. It's scratched off with my fingernail. So, I'm sure a magic eraser will just clean it right up. So, yeah. That is the Sharp Twin Energy thrift store find. So, also, let me know in the comments if you think it was worth it. Um, now, let's get into the restored product. And most likely, this will probably be filmed tomorrow. Okay, we're back here um, after the restoration uh, to do a quick little video on it. So, this here is the Sharp Twin Energy. I think I already introduced that. Um, so, let's get into what we did. This one was definitely a little bit of a project. This one was kind of gross. Um, the back door was obviously... I don't even know what that was. I need to hit it with this... Bag door with smash eraser again. But for now, it is good. Um, I think that could have been sticker residue, but it wasn't sticky, so... Yeah. This head looks really good. There's not too many scratches on the machine. The handle lock is unfortunately still broken. I don't know how to fix that. Please let me know if you do. Um, they do not come with the um, extension wand, but it did come with the upholstery brush. Um, those value attachments don't even fit. I don't even know what they go to. They did not go to this machine, but it did come with a spare bag that does fit. Here's the bag chamber. Unfortunately, also mine did not come with a post motor filter, so I just shoved a dryer sheet in there for now. They're good for post motor filters. They're good. They're a good little supplement, and it's a great temporary use. But I need to figure out how to make one. It is great. It is ultra quiet. It is ultra lightweight. It's not too light, actually. Well, it's it's not work light, but it is definitely under, like, 15 pounds. Um, it is so quiet. And it does not have a lot of handle weight. So, like, this is not heavy, but the overall weight of the machine is probably around 13, 14 pounds, which isn't too bad. It's about the average weight of a vacuum cleaner. 
has really good suction. The brush roll, I'll show you the bottom. I didn't really get a chance. This is just kind of embedded stuff. There's no rust or anything. But this is embedded. So I can't, and I don't really care about this. Um, the brush roll works fine. There's no chance of getting belts, um, brush roll for this. So I don't really care. And then the cord hook, I don't know. I tried tightening the screw, but it still comes out. So I think there's a, might have been a busted clip. But it does turn fine, so I don't really care. So let's give this guy a go. Sounds great. are kind of crusty in the brush so I probably should open it up but I don't really mind it spins fine this has Panasonic belts and a Panasonic bag in it so I would honestly compare this to a Recar or Simplicity this really is a Simplicity kind of vacuum pretty well made it's not it's okay quality to be honest but it does it doesn't do too bad it's not a bad machine it's like kind of like a I want to say this is kind of reminding me of like a, a beefed up Bissell. That's really what it is. This kind of, with the stretch hose you have on it and you do have the um, tools and you have the better quality. So this is, that's what it really is. But for $13, I'm not too pissed. I really like it. And I do not regret buying this. So I think this was a good purchase. Thank you guys for watching this video. Call my subscribe and I will see you all next time. Bye!